So I wanted to do a video regarding the generator. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting for parts of that, so we'll have to come back to that at a later date. But Spunky has done a video overviewing the MBC. Basically what I've done now is I've used my test and prototyping rig from a computer desk and just hashed it into my van just to try and be able to do some kind of video for you. Obviously with the current lockdown, can't go to Mark's van and do it on the properly installed one with all the features. So you'll see on mine, I haven't got tank levels or temperatures connected, but you will see that on Mark's. Mark might even be able to edit a bit in there, I'm not sure. But either ways, let's just see what we can do with what we've got. And uh, here we go. Right, so basically, We've got the first screen, is you've got your solar input there, the PV charger at 130 watts at the moment. And your battery there, you can see your power's coming along here. Oh, and going into the battery. Now the battery's at 99% and now the battery's getting 118, 119 watts. Even though the charger's putting out 130, that's because we're using uh, 16, 17, 18 watts of power. So it divides it around and it shows you exactly what you're using. These bits at the top um, don't really do anything unless you've got like a Multi Plus or a Quattro or the Easy Solar, one of Victron's own uh, inverter chargers. If you had that, that would show you AC input and then your AC output of what you're using. Obviously, we're not using that because I haven't got a multi plus or anything in my van. And um, scroll across your next screen, you've got a brief overview there. So you can have your own logo or well, name on that one. Battery, how it's doing, charge levels, what power you've got going in. Status, we've got no alarms, you've got your time there, how much power we're getting off the PV charger. And again, AC loads, input and output and loads. Again, to work with a multi plus. Scroll to your next screen. As you'll have already seen, Mark's now set this up to work with your generator start and stop. Now you can do all kinds of settings with the generator which we'll try and go into in a little while. Don't want to make this too much of a long video if we can help it. And then you get your main overview screen again. This one is one where you can have your own logo and again it shows you your PV charger, how much you're getting in off the solar, what you're using off your system, how your battery is, status, no alarms and also shows you speed because it works off GPS positioning. We've got the GPS on there, so you can always track your van as well. And there's your tanks. Now, obviously, I haven't got any tanks in my van, so they're showing zero. So that's basically your uh, your main screens that you can scroll through on the main pages. And then, obviously, you can go into the menu and do more settings. Like on Mark's, if we tap on and bring the menu up, so touch your screen, you get your options here, your pages or menus. We're going into menu. And here's your menu system. Now what you've got there, obviously you've got my BMV 712 and you get your readings off of that one. Temperature sensor, obviously short circuited. That's because uh, I haven't got temperature sensors set up. Like I said, I've just lobbed this in my van very quickly just to be able to show you this. Your solar charger there, another fresh water tank, temperature, LPG, settings, 
and then obviously you're switching for your relays which you can just touch and touch on and off like so obviously not doing anything because they're in my van and not Mark's van and that's your first main sort of menu page where you can get to your switches and you can alter your temperature settings and, and other items in there uh, we'll, walk, we'll go into the, uh, the let's go into the BMV first so the BMV as you can see there if we touch we can go in and we can see state of charge, data voltage, consumed amp hours, relay state, time to go, all your alarms, history and your device. Um, right, if we go into history, deepest discharge. Well, you've got all your history there as well, commutative voltage, synchronization counts and you can alter your settings and change things in there. Same for the solar charger. You've got the state there which tells you an absorption. I've got 68 volts off the panels, 1.8 amps and it's charging out at 123 watts going off there. There's your battery voltage, amps at the battery, total yield, system yield, loads on. So we I can use the load off there if I want then again you get your daily history and your overall history no errors um, voltages um, battery voltages max and min uh, your water tanks so let's go fresh water you can go into here level your status is okay uh, how much remaining you can set it up so if we're going to set up you can tell it is how much how big your tank is what type of tank it is uh, your resistance levels for your sender so you can actually add any sender you want as long as it's a resistance type based sensor um, yeah so if we're going to the main settings page now I hope Mark can make this a lot better video than I think this is gonna be it's awkward not having the tripod and just working on obviously this test MVC because it hasn't got anything connected to it so it's quite awkward to show you its full capabilities hopefully Mark will do his editing magic and add some little bits to it uh, if we're going to settings in there we've got general firmware time and date remote console system setup your DVC dis uh, displaying language VRM portal Engine meters, Ethernet, Wi Fi, GSM modem, GPS, generator start and stop, tank pumps, relay services, and all your input output menus. It's a hybrid of the Victron GX and the Color Control GX, so it can do both the features that both of them can do, but in one unit on the 7 inch color touch screen. Um, I don't really know what else I can add to that for you suppose put some questions in there if you like the video obviously give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to Mark's channel and obviously tap the magic bell and get your notifications so you can see all of his latest videos thank you very much um any questions drop us a message or a comment down the bottom thank you